Austin Kendall in the shotgun. Hands off Grant Garner for a short gain up the right side. Quarter for La Tech. Isaiah is the man in motion. But they'll hand it up up the middle. Marcus Williams gets a couple. And if Skip Holton. Looking the left. I finds his running back, but tackled out of bounds. Kendall's got three wide receivers to his right. And up goes up the middle to Williams. And he dropped. So that'll bring up the, the switch was flipped and flying around the football field. On first down, Kendall will off to his running back, Williams. A gain of it first. We'll give it right back to Kendall and he will pick up the down. Connor is the true freshman at tailback, and he takes the handoff from Max Johnson. Nowhere to go. He lost some real estate. Emmanuel Forbes forced him out, but the right side. It showed up a little bit against his offensive line. Only a three-man rush, and Johnson moves the pocket. Throws into a tight window right at the first down line to gain. And the freshman, mm -hmm. Deion Smith. Last concept progression, great throw. And off to another freshman, Armani Goodwin. He picks up a couple of yards. These are two. Equals another takeaway. So the first interception for Flott. And here's Ty Davis Price. He picks up about three. Now this is where you would want your run game to be a big. Max Johnson off play action. Finds Armani Goodwin in the right flat. And he picks up about three. Immediately corralled by Buki. Ten completions, three touchdowns, almost 200 yards. For Max Johnson. Up the middle goes Ty Davis Price as all three of those second half touchdown passes for Max Johnson have been at least one of his complaints. He's having a hard time finding his passing lanes. He's not a small quarterback. That lane was wide open, and Anaya Smith takes it for a first down. So they say, hey, listen, Drew Brees is barely sick. Motion. Join Spiller in the backfield. Here's Anaya Smith to the 10, and that's going to set up third down. Running back now for the Aggies. Calzada taken down. They blitz him. A bookie Watson picks up the big on a loss of 10. Athletic family. Same with Isaiah Spiller. He gets a touch. Pick up a four. Really nice job by some motion. Weidermeyer. Spiller. Try to find a lane again, but State is all over him, and that'll set up third and six. The field is the same record as Kevin Sumlin did at this point of his A&M career. Here's Devon A. Chain. Picks up three. Really good job. A little bit of a weight difference. Just remember, you're more Peloton than uh, bench press. Yeah. Here's Spiller again. Kazada trying to lead block for him. Seven that time, second string quarterback for AM. Pressure from the edge. Complete. Just shy of the first down, and it looks like they will mark it a first down. Young, the Heisman front runner for most of this season. And they go straight ahead with Brian Robinson, the senior from Tuscaloosa. Let's look at the Chick fil A impact one. Third and two. Robinson. Straight ahead, powerful, strong, decisive runner in a first down. So Bryce Young was third and nine. Young scrambling, and then Young is driven down by Nathaniel. This went off in pain. They're looking at his throwing shoulder. He cannot give up a touchdown here. Second and six. Robinson is going to cross midfield and have the first down. Vocal. Tuscaloosa Phenom growing up 14 3 tied starting from inside the 10 yard line young from his own end zone And he's gonna have to do that just to escape and then he's pushed out very hard remarkable 11th play of this drive coming that started at their own seven yard line And now they're inside the 30 as Mechie with yet another 97 yard first half already 
And he's digging ahead to the 26 yard line for four yards is Robbie in the fourth quarter when they had the ball in the three yard line. And of course they do run it this time with Robinson as he gets it down to the three yard line. They had first and goal at the three yard line last week against AM. They can clear the path. Robinson lowers the shoulders and was met at the one yard line. He was met by Watson who's been behind them. Oh, absolutely. Brian Robinson. And she gets out to the 22 yard line. And I think a big part of that too is, I mean, you don't realize, I think a lot of people to my left, John Parker Wilson, we're extremely close. I mean, it's just, that's what happens. You want to make sure that that backup quarterback, you have to trust them implicitly because the coaches are going to see things one way. Not used to saying that. Last week they went down four times with Young and was hurried. Mechie, to the 20 yard line on second and 20. Young nearly tripped up, keeps his footing, and makes it to the 30-yard line. It'll be fourth down. Punt team will be trying. Deserves love, man. Chris Owens, he has bounced back tonight, holding down the right side of that offensive line. After he was going through what was described as a little bit of a competition this week with some of the freshmen. And hashtag that guy. <laughs> uh, college, ain't it grand. Start of the fourth quarter, Robinson with a spin move and gets the most of it as he has for most of the night. Crumity with uh, the number 11 right in the middle of his chest. Made him wear that one. Here's Robinson trying to get to the edge, but instead he's driven down by Buki Watson. Buki Watson. It's outside, steps, gets right across the face of the defender. Rocco Griffin bouncing off Bulldogs isn't going to get much as Nathaniel Buki. This is a man that's had a lot of candy. And uh, he had the right opinion of candy corn. That is correct. <laughs> right. Gets Pierce. Chris's first catch gets 11 yards. Two five-yard carries for Wright. Dumps it off. This is a play that could work if Bresnahan can get a block, and he does. And he gets out past the... See if they can't take advantage of this turnover. Watch Javon Banks in the middle of your screen. He had the pressure on the last play. This time a clean pocket and Pierce with the grab inside the 25 yard line. He is in his career arc. He's going to just run it to the sideline out of bounds as Buki Watson. The athletic when it's not there he'll tuck it and run. The toss for smoke. Look, he watched it with the tackle. Kentucky's got a first. Four-man rush. Can't afford to take a sack. Got to get out of bounds. And will be knocked out of bounds. Chris Rodriguez. Gain of 12. Are. There's been very little thought of saying that there could be a change made at that position. Here's Rodriguez. And he said, listen, what we haven't had here in a few years is a Levis under center. And off. Rodriguez, six-yard gain, three-quarter. If I'm to play for him in the 90s earlier this week, and he said, you know, Joe Lee Dunn's best attribute was finding guys like me that weren't big enough, strong enough, fast enough to play at other places, and giving them a role and allowing them to be successful. Bigsby, nothing there. Again, Buki Watson, one of those linebackers. More team lurking behind you in the college football playoff rankings that could conceivably jump up over you. Well, that probably is no more as Shivers picks up a first down. Mississippi State ball eligible for the 12th straight season. It's every year going back to 2010. Within the SEC, only Alabama, Georgia. Bulldogs lead 21 0 here, second quarter out of a Tennessee State timeout. They designed this run off to the right side that yields nothing, that still assuredly not to their liking. But here they go. The pressure comes and the ball is dropped. A turnover on downs rather than what might have been an interception. From and here comes Jet Johnson. The screen is there, a one handed catch for Starling. He rumbles forward between the 48 and 40.
Corral steps forward, pumps, runs, and it's taken down from behind by Tyrus. Matt Corral. They ran a stunt, and he's able to get it over the middle. Flag is down as he connected with Jonathan Mingo, who for the time... Corral tries to spin out of it, throws it as he's going down. Nathaniel Watts. Fresh legs back out there for the defense, showing A-gap pressure. They come off of it, and look at that scene for Snoop Connor, and it's a first down Ole Miss. Uh, Reed. To the two-yard line goes Connor. He is number three in the team, Braylon Sanders. There he goes. 14th play of the drive. Lower in the shoulders again and finding nothing. Again, it is Watson with the tackle. As teams have tried to play that defense against him this year. Ely finding a seam, and Ely goes ahead for 10 yards. Third down and 19. And Ely will get back some of it to the 25, Nathaniel Watson. Drummond 10 catches, 117 yards. Corral. Look at how slippery he is. Able to make something out of that. Corral. Going to check down underneath to Drummond. That has been his favorite target tonight. Oh, we had an all-out brawl. Fans coming out, picking up chairs, hitting each other over the head. They said, hold on, hold on. We can do better than that. Let's play for a trophy. And thus the golden egg as Ely is wrapped up. Snoop Connor hitting the hole, charging ahead, getting it down to the 35-yard line. Connor with a pair 